Sounds good, Caitlin. Before you go, according to the National Park Service, we know that this is the earliest peak bloom that we've seen in the past two years and only two days later than the earliest peak ever, right? Yeah, Delia, I mean, we really can't talk about the cherry trees and the tidal basin without thinking of climate change. This really is the poster child for what climate change looks like. I think sometimes when you hear us talk about a degree or two of warming, it's hard to imagine what that actually looks like, but this is it. The cherry, cherry trees blooming much earlier than average. Average peak bloom is April 4th. And when we look at the last 20 years, I know there's a lot to see here in this graphic, so bear with me. Whenever you look at that average line of April 4th, 15 out of the last 20 years have all featured peak bloom above average or earlier than average, I should say, and in some cases well earlier than average. And this really just covers the temperature side of things, right? All of these earlier than average peak blooms are a result of our global warming temperatures, but sea level rise, another significant issue we see here down at the tidal base. And here's video taken earlier last week, and you can see just how high above the seawall that water comes. Now that is in part because of sea level rise, also because of failing infrastructure, but it shows you just how critical the the upcoming construction is to rebuild those seawalls around the tidal basin so that we can help protect the cherry trees and all of our historic monuments as we deal with our changing climate. But Caitlin, you did mention that the cooler temperature is actually pretty good for the blossoms in the next week or so, right? Yeah, it's going to slow down uh, the leafing of the trees because we always talk about the six stages of the cherry trees, right? With stage six being peak bloom, but there's really a seventh stage and that is the leafing of the cherry trees. This colder weather actually going to slow down the process of those leaves popping through enough to pop those petals off of the tree. So hopefully we have plenty of opportunity to come down and see these cherry trees in full bloom. All right, I will be down there soon. I don't even mind the traffic. Thanks, Caitlin.